What's going on YouTube? This is your boy DIY Kari coming at you with another video. Shout out to everyone that's been subscribing, liking, commenting on the videos. Appreciate all y'all. Y'all helped me get over 4K. I never thought I would have a channel that got that hot. So thanks again to all of y'all. Really appreciate it. Today we got a special shoe coming from the good people over at pickpop.ru. As you can see, that's their WhatsApp and website. All the information will be in the description below though, so you don't have to go far to look for it. <sighs> this is an informational video. This is my opinion only. I'm merely teaching y'all, teaching myself at the same time on these different shoes. You watch the videos. You know, I did a lot of videos on UAs, reps, however you want to call it. it this is going to be another one of those just to let y'all know so this shoe is definitely going to be in my opinion a great shoe when i first got it in hand i didn't think i would like it just seeing pictures but i actually like this shoe so without further ado we're gonna get straight into the shoe From the name on the box, this is gonna be a women's Air Jordan 3 Retro OG. This is gonna be the Nina collab of the Retro 3s. Gonna be a bottom, it's like a neon green at the forefoot and orange at the back with the Nike in the middle. To start off from the back, got that carpet vibes with the Nike Air written. Got an orange tab right here with the Jordan on it. Like a construct Jordan. I believe that's like something she came up with because it's not the actual Jordan logo. That's the Jordan logo on the hand tag. But if you flip it over, the logo she created. Same thing on the tongue. And on the back of the tongue, you got Air Jordan. It is hint of suede slash nubuck on the back of the heel and on the back at the ankle. This part does not move like most retro threes. It doesn't move on this one. Inside, it's going to be a leather. Does come up with shoe trees. Let me show y'all the insole. Gonna be like construction type vibe to me, <laughs> at least. With the green hint at the foot and that same logo that she created. And like always, the best insole ever, Dream Cell. And so the laces, as you can see, they are not regular. These are rope laces, which is like the most popular thing right now. A lot of people are doing doing the customs with rope laces, especially on Air Forces. But the upper is full canvas. Same thing on the tongue, canvas. It's going to be both shoes together. As you see on the right shoe, it does come with extra laces, orange laces, which are rope also. And the same thing on this one, not too much different. As you see, it has the extra eyelids, that same construction or pretty much drawn logo to me. I don't know how or where that logo came from. Didn't really do much research on it. Got the Nike Air at the back also with that carpet vibes. Midsole is the H midsole. And you see the two posts. I always point that out. If it has more than two, send it back, take it back. 
because if it's a size 10, it's supposed to only have two posts. If it's a 12 and up, three posts. Just keep that in mind anytime y'all get these shoes. These or retro fours. Same thing with this one, two posts, just so y'all can see. Just being full transparent with y'all, this one did have a slight chemical smell when I got it. So I had to put this one outside. Just being full transparent. It wasn't bad, but it was to the point where I still need to put it outside. It's gone now. Happy about that. Other than that, if it was still there, y'all wouldn't have saw me smell it. <laughs> but no glue lines which would be very noticeable on the green canvas. No glue lines anywhere. No glue lines on this one. That's a plus. Let me know what y'all think about these. I have a picture of her retro twos above. I know a lot of people did not like these um, retro twos. I actually got the retro twos also, but this one, I think, she did a better job on this one. The Retro 2s, not so much. I don't feel like a lot of thought went into that one. Only thing that was different that I liked on that one was the hang tag. Other than that, it was still, a, it was a plain Retro 2. This one was, I feel like it's gonna be a banger when it does come out. Let me know if y'all gonna try to cop them now from pick pop or if y'all gonna wait and cop at the release just know the way these releases been going lately might not have a chance or you might i don't know i don't have luck on on release day so everybody else but let's show the box real quick then we're gonna get up out of here right off the bat you see that construction type jordan with the two, three. I feel like that's the vibe she was going with, like the construction feel. See the 23 paper. Again, 11 and a half women's, 10 men's, my size. But that is it. Nothing really came in a box, box. This but paper. Yeah, let me know what y'all think about these. Will y'all be copying from here? Or y'all just gonna wait for the release? I forgot to show this. Inside does have Nina on this one. Other one has Air Jordan. But that is it. Again, thank you all that have subscribed, watched the videos, like the videos, and thumbs up the videos. Really appreciate all y'all. This is your boy DIY Kari, signing out.